Hello guys, welcome back once again to the channel Get It Quickly and warm welcome to the ongoing series on Notepad++. So today we are gonna learn how we can apply different filters when we are gonna find out the files in any specific directory. Okay, so this is where we left off in the last video. So the thing is basically I'm gonna point out the first thing here is that number. So if you remember in the last video, basically we tried to find the word printf in the directory d database project underscore one right so what happened that time basically notepad plus plus it tried to find that specific printf word in all of that files that whatever we have in the project underscore one directory so that nine number is basically come from that so to show you that thing basically i'm gonna go and open my qdir and if you don't know what is QDIR, I do have video tutorial on QDIR. Basically, QDIR is a super cool file explorer software, so you should download it and make use of it. All right. So basically, that nine number that represents like nine files are in that directory project underscore one. Okay. Let's go back to our Notepad plus plus. So today's topic is basically filters. But before starting the topic filters, I should also mention like these features that we have here so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna clear all here and i'm gonna close this guy as well and then what i'm gonna do basically i'm gonna make use of in all subfolders checkbox here basically by default it is already checked but what i'm gonna do basically i'm gonna remove this project underscore one so now what it's gonna do basically it's gonna search for printf in all of the directories that we have here in our database so you can see here like i do have four directories right now okay well i just have these files in project one the other uh, project three project two and project four they don't have any c files but it's gonna look for every single file in the whole directory called database okay so let's find out what happens if i do this right so click find all and then now you can see like it's still the results are same only thing has changed is that number which is basically this 18 right so what it did basically it tried to search every directory under database which are project one two three and four and all of the files like this directory has nine files and this has three three and three so it becomes 18 right okay so let's open our find window by hitting Control shift f and it's gonna go directly open find in files for us okay so here we also have in hidden folders and for now i don't have any hidden folders in our directory so it's not gonna make any difference for me okay now let's talk about filters so the first question here is what are filters and why are they here right so the answer to the first question is filters are the specific conditions through which we basically refine something of our interest here basically we are talking about files so just consider like we have a pool of files and we are just interested in some of the files so we are gonna specify some conditions to pick up that files first and then we are gonna do whatever we want to do with that files right and the answer to the second question why filters are here because once we ask notepad plus plus to find something for us the first thing notepad plus plus does is actually try to filter out the files and then it's gonna look for our desired thing one by one in the filtered files right so for instance if you have like thousands of files in your project and you are sure like whatever the thing you are looking for it might be just in couple of files with a specific extension so you can actually specify the extension by using filter and it's gonna speed up the whole process of your search instead of searching like literally thousands of files it's gonna filter out the files first and then only in the filtered 
files it's gonna look for your desired thing and then it's gonna show you wherever your thing actually happened or found right so this is basically the purpose of filters so to understand like what filters we have what you can do right now is basically you can just hover your pointer to the filter so it's gonna show you everything it does offer and I'm gonna show you a few examples here so that we can have a better understanding of what I just said right so as we are looking for printf in our C files so here by default notepad plus plus gives us a wild card which is gonna look for each and everything right like every file with every extension but we know printf can be just in files with the extension c so i'm gonna specify asterisk dot c which means like every file with the extension c right so i'm gonna remove this one first right and then i'm gonna hit find all and then you can see right now we have just three files search right all the results are same but the idea here is basically instead of 18 it filtered out only three files with the extension c and then it found all of the results that we are looking for right now let's try something else so i'm gonna hit Control shift f again and this time i'm gonna exclude all dot text files and keep all the files with different extensions right so to do this i'm gonna be using wildcard again and space and then all files with the extension txt right but i'm gonna exclude all of them so i'm gonna add this exclamation mark before this criteria okay let's find out how it's gonna work and remove this guy again i don't know why it comes up again and again right so so let's clear this guy first and then hit find all and you can see like now this time it actually searched six files so let's see why this number came up so here we exclude all the text files so all these are not included these are not included these are not included and from here basically we do have three text files this guy that guy and that guy they are also not included so only six of them are left which are basically filtered out and then notepad plus plus try to find our printf right so this is how we actually use our filters in finding any of the word in multiple files in any of the directory and this is the purpose of having filters right so that's it for this video and i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe the channel and stay tuned for the next couple of videos we are gonna have on notepad plus plus in which we are gonna learn a plethora of tips and tricks in our notepad plus plus thanks for watching